everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Today's lesson is about sound. Sound is an item which one hears that can be played in a scratch project. So let's jump into the video. So sound, so in order to make sound, uh, we can just click on this sound button here. And here, and you can add sound here, or you can use the default sound here, which is a meow. Yeah. So, there are different kind of features in sound. Like, some of the basic ones include, like, when green flags click, play sound meow until done. And change pitch. Uh, by 10%, change pitch effect by 10%, that means uh, the pitch is going to be changed by 10%, so it's going to be a bit higher pitched, as you can see here now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and also you have set pitch effects to uh, 100%. A pitch to effect 100%. Play, play sound me until done. Oh, uh, yeah, the pitch was uh, like two times higher. So if you set it to zero, it will probably be this good. Yeah. So. Now you have clear, clear, clear sound effect and set volume to 100% and yeah, that's basically all you have. So, now that you know what sound is, let's actually try making a project using it. What I'm thinking is that we can maybe have a concert and wherever our cursor, we have a, a group of instruments and wherever our cursor lands on is the instrument that's played. So first of all, we don't want the scratch cat. Oh, and uh, we want to choose the backdrop first. So you first search, you just first click that backdrop, ic backdrop icon and search concert. Oh, and uh, it showed here, concert. So that's what you want to do. The second thing is you choose a sprite. Go into music and choose all sorts of instrument you want to play. I um, have there, so uh, I'm gonna stick with a drum. I'll just place the drum at the side. I'll have to choose another sprite music, an electric guitar. I guess I'll have to also tilt it because the guitar, it's not like a cello, cello, which you play vertically, so, uh, direction. So we tilt it until we find it good. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. 145. Be good? Yeah. And uh, another instrument we can find, the uh, last instrument, I would say. Um, uh, would probably be a uh, uh, maybe a keyboard, and we want to turn this uh, um, keyboard wouldn't work, I think, because uh, yeah, the keyboard wouldn't work. Okay, but let's say for um, the last uh, a trumpet. A trumpet should be a good instrument for a band. Um. So yeah, so now we've got the sprites there, but they don't have any function. So first, let's get their function. So when green flags click, um. I mean, first choose your instrument, and whenever uh, 
you go to sound, um, it will automatically set what your preferred, preferred, um, preferred sound is, yeah, for such instruments. So, we want to have an if, 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 yeah, if statement. If touching mouse pointer, play sound high tom until done. And uh, you do this with the rest. So I'll meet you up when, uh, when I'm finished. Hey guys, so uh, I've completed the if statements for everything. Hopefully yours is done. And now let's check it out. Oh, and also there's one more last thing we, I forgot to do. Remember how I always say that, that Scratch completes the tasks instant, instantly? So what happens is that we need to make sure that these commands are, forever, are said forever because, because, if that, because if we don't do that, then it's going to think that... that only like for the just like a millisecond if we're touching it then yeah otherwise it won't wouldn't work so we have to add forever uh forever here and here and now we put forever and my all of my instruments you can add more instruments by the way it'll be better probably and now let's actually check it out uh. That's not the best band, but hopefully now you understand that um, how you can use sound in various scratch projects. So I hope that you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.